Hi there, everybody. Pastor Mike coming to you with Perk Stream for December 2nd, 2020. I'm here to inspire you to follow Jesus because following Jesus is a life worth living. This is the first week of Advent, and the first week of Advent is centered on hope. And so I hope that uh, today, as I bring you a little bit of encouragement, that you will be able to see hope uh, as we go through this season. Uh, I have a couple things that I'll have on the back end of our devotional, uh, things that have to do with Deck the Cakes, things that have to do with our worship service, and uh, a reminder about the revision on our Christmas Eve service. But first, uh, I just want to reflect a little bit on a devotional that I'm following. Uh, every Advent, I follow a devotional and uh, read right at December 1st and follow it all the way through past Christmas to around January 6th, which on the church calendar is Epiphany. And the particular, uh, the particular author I'm following, his name is Paul David Tripp. He is a pastor, speaker, author, and he's based out of Philadelphia. And he's written a devotional called Come Let Us Adore Him. And today's reading was the one that, uh, that really got me. He talked about uh, this, he, he starts off with a zinger. And the zinger is this. One of the sins that we do not talk about is the sin of unwillingness. We are not willing to sacrifice. We are not willing to serve. We are not willing to obey. There's a lot of unwillingness in us. Uh, in our natural person and that's bad news but the good news is that Jesus is eternally willing Jesus is eternally willing to lay down his life he was eternally willing to do everything possible to reconnect us to our Creator the one that we were so willing to walk away from in the first place and this is uh, one of the things that he has to say. He says, you see, it's not just the Christmas story. Rather, the entire redemptive story hinges on one thing, the eternal willingness of Jesus. I was encouraged by this reading because the good news is that Jesus was willing to come as a baby and to endure, walk through, understand the whole human condition, and yet speak into that human condition with his unconditional love and his eternal willingness to draw us back to his way of doing things. Part of what has separated us from God is the fact that there was a way he wanted life to be and then there's how we've made it. And we continually search for that good life. We continually search for that thing that, that makes life grand or, or great or worth living. We might call it purpose, we might call it value, we might call it validation. And he has a way of seeing that, that he intended for us to see, but we were not willing, starting with Adam and Eve, to trust him and put our confidence in his word and his way. But he's eternally willing to draw us back to him. And he was willing to do that by coming, living, walking, teaching, healing, being abused and suffer on the cross and eventually lay in a tomb for three days. And the good news is that he endured all of that and he rose again. And in that we have life and we have hope. We have hope in the eternal willingness of Jesus. So brothers and sisters, the bad news for us, and it's bad news for me, is I'm very often unwilling to do things God's way. But... Uh, the good news is that he has done a great thing and he is eternally willing to draw us back to himself. And so the writer of Hebrews reminds us that therefore since we're surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out before us. Here's, here's where we can begin to say this is what I'm willing to do. Let us run the race with perseverance along the course set before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you do not grow weary and lose heart. 
That's Hebrews 12, 1 through 3. So I know that Jesus' life speaks to, a, to the deepest part of me, the part of where I crave to be loved, to be accepted, to be recognized. Jesus does all of that. The deepest part of us, Jesus speaks to and draws us back to him and says, come, follow me and do it my way. So I, at times, am unwilling, but I believe that Jesus is changing that. I believe that day by day as I walk with him and walk towards him, he is continually making me willing to do things according to his way. So uh, I hope that this is also true for you. Friends, we have hope in Jesus Christ who is willing. He's eternally, eternally willing to rescue us and lead us to our best life now. A life that reflects the kingdom values, that lifts up the lowly, that strengthens the weak, that, uh, that makes life new. So let's fix our eyes on Jesus, the one who is eternally willing. All right, some news and notes for you. Um, hey, are you rethinking some of your Christmas traditions in light of the COVID pandemic? If you are, uh, how are you going to do things differently or what are you going to try to keep the same but might do in a different form? Uh, would you email me, mike at perkmc.com, and would you share your story? And what I'd like to do is share that in a future Perk stream. Uh, so if you're willing to do that, I'd appreciate having an email from you saying, yeah, this is our Christmas tradition. This is what's going to stay the same. This is how it's going to be different. I'd appreciate hearing that. Uh, a reminder that we worship together at 930 on Sunday morning. We have a prayer time from uh, that starts at 845 and you're will welcome to come be a part of that that is open to anybody and everybody who wants to come and pray and I want to encourage us that the things that are going to happen in 2021 through the life of Perk Church are all going to be founded on this relationship we have with Jesus and how how basically how we remain connected to him and the one of the base ways we stay connected is prayer so I'm encouraging us to pray. I'm encouraging us to gather to pray. And so I'm asking you to remember, if you can join us at 845 on Sunday morning, uh, we're meeting in the back area uh, off the kitchen. Please come and join us for that. I do remind you that we do have a mandatory mask policy right now. Uh, with the spike in COVID cases, we are doing everything we can to be safe when we gather. We want to continue to stay open as long as possible. So you help us do that by wearing your mask because then we're keeping each other safe and we don't become a hot spot for COVID. So you, you probably remember that we were going to have a December 12th Deck the Cake event. Well, we can no longer have that in person, but we are encouraging you to do it with family or friends. Uh, I know that there are some people signed up that are gonna do it with their grandkids. You don't have to have kids, you don't have to be a kid. You're welcome to participate in Deck the Cake, but if you want to participate and you want the elements that are gonna be a part of it, then you need to email Cheryl Spinelli, spinfam004 at gmail.com so that we can prepare some elements for you in a bag. Now, what are those elements? I can't tell you, it's a surprise. You can bet that part of it has to do with the cake that you need to prepare ahead of time, but all the other elements will be in this bag so that you can have a, a little bit of fun at this Christmas season. Uh, you'll also have a chance to bless somebody else. I can't tell you how you're gonna bless them, but that's in the bag. So we also are looking for people who will video or take pictures of your deck the cake process and then share those with us so that we can share that at church as well as on future perk stream. So please let's put those elements together, okay? Thank you. Remember, oh, I can't forget this. Your deadline to sign up is Sunday, December 6th, which is this coming Sunday. So yeah, remember that. Cool. All right. Also, it's a reminder that Christmas Eve will be also online. We're doing what we can to make it interactive so that you're not just watching a video, but instead you will be able to participate in different elements of it. There'll be some readings. There will be the singing. You'll, you will hear a message, but there will also be some interactive things for you. So you'll get a list of elements ahead of time that you can put together. I can tell you what one of those is right now. Make sure that you have candles ready so that you can light it and sing Silent Night at the end, uh, as is, has been our tradition. 
So I encourage you to make sure that you're prepared for that. Of course, you can then watch the video anytime on Christmas Eve and share that with people uh, as you see fit. So we'll let you know when that video is live and ready to go. Well, I have a, hope you have a great week. Blessings on the rest of your week. And I hope that today is a day where you are willing to take one more step closer to Jesus. I hope today is a day where you just say, I am willing to walk with Jesus and continue to walk closer and closer with him each day. And that your willingness is born out of his willingness to serve us. Blessings. Take care. Have a great week.